Dr. Leeson, mm -hmm. uh, welcome on BA Istanbul 2016. Uh, could you please introduce yourself a little bit for our audiences? So, um, my name is Peter Leeson. I have been uh, for many years a process, quality and culture change consultant and I'm now the quality manager for a company called White Clock Group. Okay, thank you. Uh, and what do you think about the conference BA Istanbul 2016? Do you think is it valuable? I think it's extremely valuable for BAs to um, come and hear what is happening in the world and keep up to speed with the uh, latest developments in their business. I mean, it's it's a continue, it's a rapidly changing industry, and you have to keep up to speed. And this is probably the best place in Turkey. Yes, maybe okay. beyond Turkey. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. So now let us speak about uh, business analy analysis. Uh, I would like to know the definition of uh, business analyst, uh, your definition, actually. What do you think? Uh, what, what is the importance of business analyst in the projects? The business analyst role is to identify beyond requirements what are the needs of a business and how the organization they represent can add real value to that business. Translate that into something that is understandable for technicians who don't necessarily understand the customer's business. So it's, it's for me, the analysis side is critical. Yes, no, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then um, I'm wondering about what do you think about the future of business analysis, you know, the motto of the conference is business analyst uh, 2.0 and uh, we are talking about the terms like agile, uh, digitalization, mobile and uh, what do you think about it? What do you think about the future? I don't know enough about the Turkish industry. Um, I've heard a lot of presentations, talks about things which to me seemed obvious, which uh, Agile for me is already old. So I'm a little bit surprised that Turkey is still moving into Agile when a lot of industries have moved on from Agile. So I'm hoping that by bringing in perhaps more international speakers here you can start seeing that actually there is a lot more out there today. Um, I think, I think, I know this is a little bit strange to say you, you were at um, uh, rattling cups at us. Um, second conference, second year, Business Analyst 2.0 Next year, are you going to do Business Analyst 3.0 to move on to the next level? Because there's a lot out there that is being done that needs to be done. So let's catch up and overtake the rest of the world. Yeah, okay. So uh, in an international scope, uh, what would you say about the features of DBA then? Um, I always get a little bit nervous when people talk about features because I want to know, I always bring it back, what is the added value? What are you bringing to it? Um, for me, a business analyst should not be restricted by the development methodology being used behind. I would much rather see the business analyst understanding what are the quality control levels and identifying how we're going to check the quality of the products before they are deployed, rather than worrying about whether it's going to be agile or waterfall. That's, that's not the business analyst's problem. They need to, to as, as the title says, they need to be able to analyze the client's business in depth and really understand what are the needs of the clients. So that's where I would want to focus more on. It's really how do you interview clients? How do you understand what they are not telling you? How do you understand what is critical, what is a nice to have? And then how do you translate that into technical jargon? Does, 
that answer your question? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Then thank you very much for your uh, attention. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and good so. luck with next year's conference. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay.